All right. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful elect, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And what I want to get into this morning real quick, well, <laughs> so like this afternoon, <laughs> okay, is Eve, all right, is a big damn child, man, okay? Now, you know, that pretty much, you know, the, 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 the spirit, okay, has taught, you know, us temperance, and, you know, we're not out here in Johnny Bravo mode, and, you know, chasing out the Eve, and when you just analyze Eve now, you know, for the most part, the majority of them are big children, man. Okay? They are big children, man. Now, I was reading this article, and it just confirms it, man. Okay? Now, it says, TikTok acclaims her voicemail getting greeting blocked her chances at getting hired. Now, so when you read it, it says, awaiting the call from a potential employer is daunting enough but for Zaniah Jones her voice mail greeting may have cut her chances at getting getting hired Jones an avid TikToker, has nearly 9,000 followers and a profile of comedic videos you know playing all the goddamn time man you know and this is this society you know is full of adults that never matured okay this society is full of adults that never matured, man. And we witness it on a day-to-day basis, man. Everything's a joke. Okay? Especially with Jake. And these social media apps have did nothing, okay, but exalt vanity, okay? Exalt folly. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a sense of humor laughing. But, the, you know, there's a time, you know, for everything, man. You know? But Jake is just stuck in silly mode, man. The nigga woman... Is a big child, man. You know? And it says uh she recently posted a TikTok claiming she was in fact in fact not hired because of her voicemail greeting. The time I didn't get hired of my um because of my voicemail, Jones captured the video of potential employ employers voicemail tour. So let's play it real quick. Alright. Turn this up. Yes, Ms. Jones, I recommend if you apply for a job and you expect somebody to call you, that you have a more appropriate uh, response on your uh, voicemail. So uh, thank you for applying, and no need to give us a call back here, Harris Cena. Thank you, Bentley. <laughs> Hell no, nah, because, hey, at the end of the day, man, all right, whatever you do in your personal time, that's on you, man, okay? But when you... Okay, you have to handle business, man. There's a certain maturity, okay, that you should bring to, you know, <laughs> you should bring to the table, man. All right? Now, this is, this is, this is what her voicemail say. And in the day, you two got now old for this, man. Her voicemail said, what's up, what's up, what's up? Jones signed in the voicemail. It's your girl, Zanaya. I'm sorry I couldn't answer the phone. Please, and please leave your name and number. And you know all that. Jones could uh, continue. And I'm like, okay, I wouldn't have called your ass back neither, man. Okay, I'm calling you by the job and you got all this nigga ratchet shit on the voicemail. I wouldn't call your black ass back neither, man. Okay? You already seen like you're going to be a damn problem. <laughs> you see? So... Here it is, and you got all these people, and this is another thing. Social media has destroyed and just ruined the minds of Eve. Because not only, you know, are they off the chain, all right, but they get people that aid them and cheerlead them on and being out of order, man. And this goof ass, you know, behavior. You know, and pretty much the narrative that Eve is always the victim. So 
here go the people, you know, commenting and acting as if she's a victim. See, and this is why Eve, when you see Eve on these different, you know, on these different platforms being held accountable, they spaz out because they haven't been held accountable in decades, man. <laughs> you see? Now, this is somebody pretty much aiding his madness. It says, are you serious? He's acting as if you're using a bunch of foul words. It's literally, it's literally your, your personality. One user said, that's your personal phone. Not everybody has a cell and a work phone, another added. Okay, you see how they come and make these excuses for Eve, and Eve think this is justified, and that's why Eve is only getting worse and worse in this society, man. A big damn child. Okay, then they tell it says, it says it's nothing wrong with your voicemail. Lad, my ass off. It's a good thing you didn't get that job. They sounded picky. One wrote, and it says you dodged a bullet. That guy has zero personality. Another user wrote. Now it says. Uh, 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 it's a good thing you didn't get the job. They sound picky. Well, isn't who who the most pickiest person on the earth? You have people that are dating coaches. They quit. They even run the dating coaches out of business because they have unrealistic, you know, standards and expectations. But you can't expect nothing out this big sire motherfucker. Okay, and I can look. I know she sire. You know. Her big ass sorry, man. You know? You can't expect nothing out of Eve, but she can have all these expectations, man. Get your ass out of here, man. All right? Now, let's get this preset real quick. I ain't gonna make this long, you know? This is uh, Ciroc 19 and uh, 29. It says, a man may be known, all right, woman too. A man may be known by his look. And one that have understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him. So that was that employer's first, okay, impression of Eve, you know, or this woman, okay? And it's a goddamn big child. And he like, look, don't even worry about calling back, okay? <laughs> don't even worry about it. Because that was his first impression. Like, when, you, when you're used to hiring people, Okay, you get a feel, you know, someone's trash, man. And he knew, <laughs> all right, that she was trash, man. Okay, verse 30. It says, a man's attire and excessive laughter and gait, all right, show what he is. So, all that laughing and playing all the goddamn time, okay? People come to work to get shit done and get the hell out of there, man. All this playing and laughing. So, you know, that voicemail pretty much showed who she was, man. Okay. And that's just a small portion of the underlying issue with Eve, man. Shout out to one.